It pays to be one of the best footballers in the world. Portuguese soccer phenom Cristiano Ronaldo has a net worth of about $450 million, and the 35-year-old will make millions more before his playing career is over. The Sultan of Stepover has earned hundreds of millions of dollars thanks to lucrative contracts with Manchester United, Real Madrid, and Juventus FC. But he earns much more from his many endorsement deals. CR7 has a lifetime contract with Nike that's worth $1 billion, and he will continue to make big bucks long after he hangs up his cleats. Here's how Cristiano Ronaldo made and spent half a billion dollars. Even at 35 years old, Cristiano Ronaldo is still one of the best soccer players in the world. He may be past his prime, but the versatile striker can still score spectacular goals and make important plays. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner is making big bucks playing for Juventus Football Club in Italy, and in 2019 he made a staggering $109 million. He was the second highest paid athlete in the world last year. Only tennis phenom Roger Federer made more money. Just about any soccer team in the world would fork over hundreds of millions of dollars to add Cristiano Ronaldo to their roster. He excels no matter what league he plays in, and he recently became only the second player in history to score more than 100 goals in international play. Ronaldo is now only 8 goals short of the record. It's only a matter of time before he breaks Ali Day's record of 109 goals in international play. This has led many to speculate. Is Cristiano Ronaldo the GOAT? He might even be better than Lionel Messi or Pele. Even if he isn't the best of all time, he's still incredibly wealthy. Cristiano Ronaldo has a net worth of about $450 million, and he has spent millions on lavish mansions, luxury supercars, and expensive jewelry. He even opened his wallet to have a super realistic wax figure made of himself. The wax statue is an exact replica of the one at Madame Tussauds. When you're as skilled on the pitch as he is, it makes sense to have a bit of an ego. Cristiano Ronaldo's life changed forever when he signed with Manchester United way back in 2001. He was only 16 years old, and the $14 million that Manchester United paid for Ronaldo was a record fee for a player of his age. Ronaldo may have grown up extremely poor, but that didn't stop him from achieving his goals of becoming a star footballer. Imagine being that rich at that age. Ronaldo improved his play year after year, and that led to even bigger paydays. The hefty contract that Manchester United offered Ronaldo was well worth it, as he led the team to three successive Premier League titles. The cash kept rolling in for Cristiano Ronaldo. He felt he had done all he could for Manchester United, and he wanted a change. When Real Madrid heard that, the club's accountants got to work. In 2009, Real Madrid agreed to pay Manchester United a record $131 million for the chance to sign Ronaldo. It was a record-breaking transfer fee at the time, and it certainly paid off. During his time with Real Madrid, Cristiano Ronaldo helped the team snag four Champions League crowns, three Club World Cups, three UEFA Super Cups, two La Liga titles, and two Spanish Super Cups. There is no way that Real Madrid would have been able to take home all that hardware without CR7. In 2017, Ronaldo took home $93 million. $58 million came from the salary and bonus paid by Real Madrid, and the rest came from endorsements, sponsorship deals, and other business ventures. Ronaldo's earnings made him the highest paid soccer player in the world for the fourth year in a row, and he was the highest paid professional athlete of 2017. In July 2018, Ronaldo signed with Italian Serie A club Juventus FC. Once again, a football club paid big bucks for the chance to sign Ronaldo to a lucrative deal. Juventus FC agreed to pay a $140 million transfer fee to Real Madrid, and the soccer phenom signed a contract worth $64 million. Juventus had no problem paying that much for Ronaldo. When he signed with Juventus FC, the club sold about 520,000 Ronaldo jerseys in just 24 hours. That's $60 million worth of jerseys in just one day. In 2018, Ronaldo made $108 million, which made him the third highest paid athlete in the world, behind only boxer Floyd Mayweather and career rival Lionel Messi. Ronaldo has made a lot of money from his playing career, but most of the money he earns comes from lucrative endorsement deals. Ronaldo has a lifetime contract with Nike worth $1 billion. Only Michael Jordan and LeBron James have similar deals. Ronaldo's massive social media presence generated a staggering $474 million in value for Nike in 2016, so the lifetime deal makes perfect sense. Nike will make far more than $1 billion from the deal. Sales of soccer merchandise earn Nike about $2 billion per year, and that amount is likely to grow year after year thanks to Ronaldo. Ronaldo also has sponsorship deals with Herbalife, Kentucky Fried Chicken, American Tourister, and Tag Heuer. He even has a bizarre partnership with Egyptian Steel. Ronaldo's brand is so popular that it is even valuable to companies that typically have nothing to do with soccer. Ronaldo also owns his own clothing line called CR7, which is also his nickname. His CR7 clothing line even features children's clothes modeled by his son. He also sponsors hotels that are branded under the CR7 line through the Pestano Lifestyle Hotels Company, and he plans to open a restaurant in Brazil in the near future. All these endorsements and business ventures have made Ronaldo even wealthier. Who knows what he might endorse next? Cristiano Ronaldo really has more money than he knows what to do with. Maybe that's why he spends so much money on extravagant things. 
He has numerous mansions and a collection of supercars that would make even Jay Leno jealous. When Ronaldo totaled his $320,000 Ferrari 599 GTB, he just went out and bought a new one. He managed to escape the crash unscathed, which was quite surprising considering how badly damaged the car was. Ronaldo has multiple supercars and some that are even worth millions. His $550,000 Koenigsegg CCX is one of the most expensive cars he owns, but it is nothing compared to his $2.25 million Bugatti Veyron. Ronaldo also reportedly owns a $2 million Bugatti Chiron. He has so much money that he can afford two Bugattis. Ronaldo knew he wanted a Bugatti after he raced one on foot for an iconic Nike commercial. If you thought Ronaldo would be satisfied with only a few supercars, you would be wrong. Ronaldo owns a $335,000 Maserati Gran Perio, a $300,000 Lamborghini Aventador, a $172,000 Porsche 911, a $215,000 Bentley Continental GT, a $200,000 Aston Martin DB9, and a $115,000 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. But wait, there's more! He also owns a stunning Rolls-Royce drophead coupe worth about $470,000 and a $400,000 Rolls-Royce Culloden SUV which is considered to be the most luxurious SUV in the world. When you're as rich as Ronaldo, you don't haul the family around in a minivan. Instead, you opt for an opulent Rolls-Royce SUV. It's no surprise Ronaldo needs plenty of mansions. Where else would he keep all those fabulous cars and trophies? When he was playing for Real Madrid, Ronaldo purchased an elegant villa in La Finca, which is an exclusive and upscale neighborhood in Madrid. The $6.2 million, 8,600 square foot mansion has seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a spacious trophy room to house all his hardware. The luxurious home also features a fully equipped gym and a stunning outdoor pool. The abode was Ronaldo's sanctuary when he was playing for Real Madrid. He would often relax by the pool or soak in the hot tub after a hard-fought match. The modern-looking mansion was designed by Spanish architect Joaquin Torres. The sleek look and sharp angles really make the mansion stand out. When Ronaldo visits New York, he spends time in his luxurious Trump Tower apartment. There was plenty of speculation when Ronaldo purchased the apartment. Many people thought that he would be signing a lucrative soccer deal with an MLS team in the US. However, if a deal like that was ever on the table, it fell through because Ronaldo ended up signing with Juventus FC instead. Ronaldo's 2,509 square foot New York City apartment cost him $18.5 million, but for him, the price was worth it. The stunning apartment was designed by Juan Pablo Molino, who specializes in the art of maximalism. The opulence is evident in every nook and cranny. This apartment exudes class. The spacious apartment features three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a gourmet kitchen, and two marble bathtubs. Marble is certainly much classier and a more appropriate adornment for a luxury bathroom. Ronaldo may have bought an apartment in Trump Tower, but he didn't opt for a solid gold toilet like the one in Trump's penthouse. It's no secret that Cristiano Ronaldo prides himself on his appearance. He puts a lot of work into his style, and he has to look exactly right. That means having perfectly coiffed hair and tanned skin. Seeing Ronaldo without gel in his hair is as rare as seeing an Amir Leopard in the wild. He spends thousands on high-end hairstylists, and he even had a hairstylist cut the hair on his wax statue to make sure it was just right. After all, it would be terrible for there to be an unflattering image of Ronaldo out in the public. Remember when a hideous bronze bust of Ronaldo was unveiled at the Madeira airport in 2017? Ronaldo hated the statue so much that he wanted a new, more accurate sculpture made. The grinning Ronaldo bust became a meme, but it did have its charm. Ronaldo spends lots of money to look just right, so naturally, he also spends a lot on jewelry to accentuate his looks. His diamond earrings are iconic, but they aren't cheap. They reportedly cost as much as $13,000. Ronaldo is also a watch enthusiast, and he was spotted wearing a $500,000 Rolex GMT Master Ice in Dubai. He paired the diamond-encrusted Rolex with two flashy rings. The total cost of the bling was nearly $850,000. When you are hanging out somewhere as luxurious as Dubai, it makes sense to wear one of the most expensive Rolexes in the world. Ronaldo has also been spotted wearing a $2.4 million diamond-encrusted watch by Jacob & Co. The watch set the fashion world on fire, and Ronaldo made quite an impression when he unveiled it at a Juventus press conference. CR7 also owns a high-tech Carrera Caliber Hero 01 watch that features a transparent dial that offers a view of the internal automatic chronograph. That's it, folks. Are you impressed by Cristiano Ronaldo's net worth? Who is your favorite soccer player? What would you buy if you were worth half a billion dollars? Did the bronze statue of Ronaldo make you laugh? How many Ronaldo jerseys are in your closet? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.